So, I was at uh, Woodfield today. I was trying to do a few things, returning or to exchange out a dress vest for, with Macy's for my Easter suit, but couldn't find my size to exchange for. I don't need the vest. No one knows it anyway. It's a cool thing to do, but I barely wear the suit anyways. Great sale, half off, but I don't know. We'll see. I also wanted to go to Lids to just quickly look around. I didn't really find what I was looking for, at least in my size that I wanted. But I also did something this morning. I did something this morning. Uh, kind of expecting myself to buy something with Macy's that was going to be prevalent. Uh, I bought my uh, membership, my $10 membership, that I get my rewards, my discounts, and my, sorry, I should have said rewards, my discounts, my other perks, perks. Oh, I, I, I thought moving the other finger. Oh, sorry. Oh, well. Um, so, and this was also with Macy's, too, with ad prices going up. I, other than a sale with Macy's um, online, I will not buy a hat in the store with Macy's. Uh, their fitteds are $50. Their on-field fitteds are fifty dollars. Um, I'm sure that they are. If I was to ask, uh, do you price match? You know, with yourself online. I got a feeling that I'd be laughed at, or I'd be told no. Not about laughed at exactly. Maybe behind my back, like I laugh at other customers at work behind their back. I can expect that, but you would you would think for. A big company like Macy's that they would price match, but then again, they are kind of going downhill. Just have been going, but um, it's kind of odd with all these prices going up. And the Macy, sorry, the Lids membership pays for itself, especially in store. After two hat purchases, uh, they get twenty percent off and. Doing the math with a fitted hat, uh, at least 20% off of uh, at least $40 before was like $8. Now that's $45. It's a whole different number. Quite less. But you still get the 20% off of the hat. It's weird consumer math that never works out. Uh, or if I was to buy like a cleanup hat that's thirty dollars, you know, going down it's like about six dollars. So it pays for itself for sure after two purchases, uh, primarily in store because online is such an iffy, iffy thing. But here's my problem, of course, with lids shocker is with that with that membership I've had plenty of times that I've been told oh your membership isn't up to date I, I paid for it well you didn't renew it why can't I pay an extra Two, three dollars. As long as not fifteen would be stretching it. Fifteen would be stretching it, but you know whatever the fee is that lids can then use electronic processing to auto renew my membership. Like if I have to pay an extra, you know, if you want the auto renewal on then, you know, add, you know, X amount of dollars on. I will do that. 
Some people won't. Understand. I understand that. Um, with Best Buy, we we force it on everyone for the auto renewal. Um, and be, I mean, people can cancel it, but people forget about it. Just like people forget when their LIDS membership is due for a renewal that I have to manually do. So why can't I pay? And I'm sure that there is a fee to do that electronic processing, that extra work, because uh, Amazon does, does it. Hey. Sorry. The, Amazon does it for Prime membership. Um, plenty of other places do it. And uh, a little perplexed why Lynch can't do it. And I hate to say all this because Lids acts like it's a small company even though it has like hundreds of stores around the, the country I don't know how many I want to say the last time I heard was 1100 but I reserve the right to be corrected um, but then again they, they are also bought up by Fanatics and Fanatics is practically a bullshit monopoly that no one in the sports world likes, not even tolerates, no one likes them. And you're still saying that you can't do all these extra things like having store pickup, you know, I can order, make an order online and do a store pickup, do a free store pickup like they used to do. You're able to do that before, but even though you got bought out because, you know, that implication of being bought out that you didn't have enough financial support or you just got bought out by a bigger company that you lost your features, you lost benefits. So it just seems very odd. You can't do this odd renewal of memberships. Um, we can't do uh, lookup of stock at a store, we, I mean, I, I, I get it, that, that's a little tricky, because there's so much extra clearance crap around, too, because lids bit off more than it can chew with fashion hats, so I understand that those clearance hats, um, and they, they just keep growing, not just from a shelf or a rack to a whole wall I've seen now. I, I get it that it's a lot to keep track of, but why can't you? I, I think that'd be cool. So people, not myself, but people can not waste time by going to a lids to be like, oh, they don't have what I want. Why did I drive all this way? And for me, I am about 15 minutes away from the closest lid, so it's not terrible for me. But for some other people, it is. It is. Oh, wow, oh, that's cool. So, my little rant there. Um, this, is, this is mainly just me kind of talking out loud about it, kind of asking the questions. Um, not expecting to get answered, really just shouting in the wind. I have bubble here, but, excuse me, I'd like to think that I'm not alone with these kind of questions, so I'm like, it seems simple, it seems like a simple concept, why can't I get it, you know, other companies do it, I mean, and I, I know that, why are we stopping? I know that Liz is not, you know, a huge corporation that's like exactly worldwide. That's like, you know, billions worth, like Apple, Microsoft, Coca Cola, Pepsi, McDonald's, Target, Walmart, um, Ford. I get that, Samsung, but uh, 
you're not a mom and pop shop. I mean, twice, I believe, if not thrice, I have heard lids being referenced, unfortunately negatively in this, these ways, but referenced in Family Guy. I feel like if you can get re referenced in Family Guy, or like Simpsons or, or South Park, you got a little credibility to yourself. You got a little bit of oomph in culture here. So you're not a small store. You're not a small company. You might be smaller than others, but you're not a small company. So I think you're able to kind of hoist yourself up here, dust yourself off, and get back to work to being what lives used to be a good company. But I digress. So, whatever. I'll uh, see you next time in class.